against Donald Trump, it's some lust for revenge, and he's this evil person. It, it's it's just quite honestly, it's just bigoted and wrong. Joy Ann Reed is a liberal white woman, and liberal white women only like black men if we'll be the symbol of their resentful vendetta against white men particularly powerful white men, but they'll settle for any white men they can get. And if they can't get white men, then they'll settle for black men, preferably heterosexual black men. So Joy Ann Reed is my enemy. That's just the reality. That's what we're getting down to now. The lines have been drawn. They like their identity Marxist politics. They like their men soft. They like their men to, to cower under, under feminist politics. They like their, their men uh, uh, weak like the men that were sitting up there on that panel uh, that sit on the panel across all the mainstream media news outlets like morning joe who's another another uh another self-righteous cuck um i just want to know where she got that white woman's hair piece i want to know where you go i want to know where you go i want to know where you go to get a well manicured white woman's hair piece that short so i know because i cuss i don't know, know. I, let me tell you, and I'll tell you why I ask. I, I don't, I don't say it just to be joking. All of the women in my family came up in the hair business. <clears throat> my mom was an esthetician. She worked at a big salon, so I, I, I grew up there. My aunt owned, owned her own business in the community for 30 years. So I watched her do hair. I swept up hair. I shampooed women at the at the bowl when I was a young kid. I answered phones. I spent a lot of time at the at the hair salon and at the barbershop that was connected. Um, there are no wigs that look like that. You got to go find a white woman's wig and you got to trim it down to be that short. I want to know where and why they feel it's appropriate for a black woman to talk about pro-black issues and the, the ever-present threat of white supremacy while she tries her hardest to look like a white woman. 